the survival guy here with the uh, next step for the scorpion peppers. So we have dried them out in our high-tech drying facility and now we need to germinate the seeds. And basically what germination is is coaxing the seeds to sprout. Now I generally do double the amount of seeds that I want the plants or so if I want you know six plants I'll do 12 seeds because germination rates aren't always 100% and when they actually do sprout you might have some really pitiful looking plants and you want to weed them out. This way you have a nice little cushion. So germination uh, basically all you gotta do is get the seeds nice and wet put them in a dark place. Bear with me here my tripod died. This is like movie magic here. How is the camera being held up? So basically we're going to need to uh, just put them in this nice scientifically airtight, watertight bag. Um, add some H2O. And there's plenty of methods to do this but um, I don't know why I do it this way, I just always have, so, you know, old habits. Basically, you want to make sure those seeds are nice and wet. You don't want them drying out during this process. And, um, you shouldn't have any molding issues, really, as long as you don't leave them for too long. So, those are nice and damp there. Now we'll take these guys and again return them to a nice dark spot. In a couple of days hopefully we'll start seeing some sprouts from them and we'll move them to a different uh, situation. But uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, when I was thinking about growing these I was like, oh, you know, I want to do some dirt, uh, I want to get into some hydroponics, you know, you're supposed to be able to grow more fruit uh, and faster. So I was looking and thinking and reading and what I decided on was aquaponics. Now, these are my cayenne peppers. I got a couple I'm going to do in soil and a couple I'm going to do in uh, the aquaponics system here. Let's not kill these too bad. Oh shit. So basically what aquaponics is, is um, using fish water in place of water and store-bought nutrients in the hydroponic system. And uh, all of you that grow know that fish tank water is really good for gardens. Um, so what essentially this system is going to do, uh, can't really see the fish in there, but I do have uh, six fish in there. Got my nice little air pump to make sure they have some oxygen temperature guy to make sure I'm not killing them and actually looks like there is one that did not make it oh. trial and error <laughs> but essentially I'll have this bed here and this will be a grow bed which will be filled with uh, media which will probably be uh, Hydrotin or hydrotone or whatever the heck it's called. It's just basically little clay pelts and uh, That's what the um, plants will sit in as opposed to soil and uh, This is going to be an ebb and flow system so what that means is Periodically throughout the day water will be pumped out of there and fill this bed up which I have I'm thinking probably three plants. It's gonna be kind of tight in there, but It'll fill it up uh, about an inch from the top there. And then once it reaches that point, there's going to be a bell siphon in there, which will siphon the water out. And uh, that will keep the plants from rotting, because <laughs> plants need oxygen as much as they need water, and they get it all through their roots. So um, I have a nice space over here to do this grow in. Got my target stand there. I figure I'm going to get a Nice little grow light, and uh, I already have plans that this uh, is pretty successful, and those plants in that tote 
don't die within the first couple of days to uh, make a sump tank, uh, radial filter, and then uh, another bed or two. And um, I'm not sure the whole process that I'll uh, tape on this, but I'll keep you guys informed. So, <laughs> that's the goal at least. Hopefully we'll have some uh, scorpion peppers. We'll definitely have some uh, jalapeno and habanero peppers. Some nice tomatoes and basil. <laughs> Alright, well, see you guys later.